Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. First of all, I want to apologize for only getting you one poem last week. I was just slammed uh, while also working an event and just was not able to get to it. So I apologize for that. But I'm back. This week, we will be announcing the winners of our poetry contest. Those submissions all came in by last Monday. And this week, we will uh, make the announcements of our winners. But first, let's get to today's poem which is by John Keats, who lived from 1795 to 1821. He was an English romantic poet and is probably most famous for works like Ode to a Nightingale and the famous sonnet on first looking into Chapman's Homer. You've heard him on this podcast a time or two before. The poem that I'm going to read today is another good summer poem. It's a sonnet called On the Grasshopper and the Cricket. It goes like this. The poetry of earth is never dead. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees, a voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new-mown mead. That is the grasshopper's. He takes the lead in summer luxury. He has never done with his delights. For when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. On a lone winter evening when the frost has wrought a silence, From the stove there shrills the cricket's song, in warmth increasing ever, and seems to one in drowsiness half lost, the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. I'm not exactly sure why, but for some reason, I have always felt like this sonnet was the kind of form best uh, applied to themes related to winter and fall and cold seasons. And I, this is a completely personal thing because I think most people would think of it as sort of being the opposite, more suited towards summer, given that most sonnets or many sonnets traditionally were um, love poems, romantic poems. You know, perhaps that's just um, sort of influenced by the number of romantic poems, love, love poems that Shakespeare wrote in his sonnets. But here we have Keats sort of combining the two seasons. I've always thought of the sort of rigid formal aspects, and I don't mean that negatively, but the rigid formal aspects of the sonnet to be in keeping with fall. And whereas, you know, something more free verse would be more appropriate for summer, or not appropriate, but uh, in keeping with the themes and, and and the moods of summer. But here Keats combines those. So the first eight lines of this sonnet are about the grasshopper and, and leading the way in summer luxury. And then the final six lines of the sonnet after the turn, every sonnet after eight lines has a turn. After that turn, we turn to the cricket and his shrilling from the stove in the winter. So the poem begins with the line, the poetry of earth is never dead, and proceeds into the grasshopper. But then we turn to the cricket in winter, where things do die, where seasons uh, pass away and and growth passes away and uh, prepares for new growth. That that's just the cycle of earth. But the poetry of earth is never dead, says Keats. Right after his turn, right before he turns to the cricket, he says, the poetry of earth is ceasing never. Even in the bitterest cold, the poetry of earth is ceasing never. I think many readers over the years have thought of this poem as sort of a comforting poem, a poem that even in the darkest moments, even in the coldest moments, is a reminder that there is someone singing, singing a song for you. There is something out there um, pursuing a way into the future, a way out of the darkness, out of the cold and into the warmth. That There's the grasshopper who leads you into the cricket, but the cricket helps preserve you during the coldest months. It's a reminder of preservation, leading back into the, to the, to the leisure of the grasshopper. So I like to think of the, the sort of form constantly repeating itself. We have the 14-line Petrarchan sonnet here with a, with a scheme of A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A. And I like to think of that as sort of repeating that this, this, you could have eight lines followed by the turn, then six lines with an A, B, B, A rhyme scheme on into the future, forever and ever. Grasshopper leading into cricket, cricket leading into grasshopper over and over and over again. And in that way, the sonnet, I think, this Petrarchan sonnet that Keats uses is the only form for this poem. So, um, you know, but think about that here as I read it uh, one more time. On the Grasshopper and the Cricket by John Keats. The poetry of earth is never dead. When all the birds are faint with the hot sun and hide in cooling trees, 
A voice will run from hedge to hedge about the new-mown mead. That is the grasshopper's. He takes the lead in summer luxury. He has never done with his delights, for when tired out with fun, he rests at ease beneath some pleasant weed. The poetry of earth is ceasing never. On a lone winter evening, when the frost has wrought a silence from the stove, there shrills the cricket's song. In warmth increasing ever, and seems to one in drowsiness half lost, the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another poem for you.